Hi, this is Sarah, and I'm going to show you how to create a stacked vertical pin in Photoshop. So we're just going to go to Create New, and you're going to create your custom size. I'm using 1000 by 1500, which is a 2 to 3 ratio. If you want to use you know, anything else you're using for your pin images, you can use that. But you're just going to type in the pixels and hit Create. Now, I'm going to pretend like this isn't here. In order to have the video run and we're going to set it all up correctly, you're going to need to go to Window and activate the Timeline window, which mine's put it at the bottom. I don't know where yours is. But we're going to start out by creating a new layer. And so instead of coming down to the Layers panel and the bottom, we're going to go to Layer and Video Layer, New Video Layer from File. And then we're just going to go get our pin uh, video, which is... Yep, we're going to convert it to a smart object. When you try and move it, it's going to convert it for you. So let's see, I'm just making my control zero to make my image here, or to make my video here. And I want it a little bigger and kind of off center just a smidge. Okay, so then we're going to leave that there a sec, and then we're going to go get a still image open with Photoshop. And we're just going to grab that and put it over into here. It'll create a new layer on top of that. And let's see, yep, I'm good with that around there. Okay, so now because you have this timeline down here at the bottom, you're just going to create this first layer is your video you see down here. This second layer is that image. So you're just going to drag and drop it to be the same length as, or drag out the uh, tilde thing, and you're going to drag it to be the same length. And then you're going to build it like everything else. If you want to put a, a block of color in here, not that color. <laughs> All right, you helping me, little one? So we're going to make it a little bit bigger so I can fit both of my things in here. And again, you can make a tiny little video on top or a big video on bottom. You can use squares or whatever. This is how exactly how you would build it normally. So I'm going to say, what is this? Yummy s'mores corn. And we're going to, and V, and we're actually just going to make that a little bit bigger so that it pulls there. And then I like to add attribution on mine as well. So we're going to do GeoSans, and we're just going to do, whoops, recipe at rufflesandrainboots.com. Let's move it. We're going to obviously have to give it a little, give it a little size love here. There we go. <laughs> Did you like that? Is that funny? All right. So we're just dropping this down, and we're actually going to mess with the, oops, not with that. Okay. So now that you have this, um, you have to come back down here, see how everything we just added isn't the full length of the video, so we're just going to drag and drop those as well, or not drag and drop, extend those out as well. Okay, so now you're pretty much done, and you're going to go to File, Export, uh, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Am I being silly? <laughs> No, hold on a tick. You're going to go to file. Where is my, oh, render video. Sorry. It's like, it's not an export as it's down here on render video. Yes. Okay. You may. All right. So we're just going to name this. Um, doesn't matter. S'mores delete. Okay, and we're going to put it on the desktop. Okay, so here, yours is going to say high quality. Don't do high quality. Uh, you can do medium. You can mess with low. Uh, again, I'm, this is my size. You can do 600 by 900, anything you want. You can also mess with the frame rate in order to work with the size. But these settings allow for pretty much the same export size, which is about 11 megs, between 11 and 12 megs, as when I do it in Illustrator. And when it exports, I'll be right back. Okay, so now it says that we need to go to desktop and see, there it is, today 41.11.3, and this is what it looks like. So when it plays, you can see the video is playing on top. Our attribution and title stay there for the entire pin video. Okay, hope that helps. If you have Photoshop, this is an easy way to do it.